Hi guys, we're gonna make jalapeno popper grilled cheese. It's so good. I mean, anything with bacon and cheese, you can't really go wrong. If it's your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these amazing recipes. So let's get started. First, we're gonna cook the bacon in the oven rather than the stove. It cooks nice and even this way and it's easier. So preheat the oven to 350 degrees and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Place the bacon flat and make sure they don't overlap. You're gonna bake for about 10 minutes, then flip and bake for an additional eight to 10 minutes and they end up with the perfect crisp. To prepare the jalapenos, slice in half and remove the seeds and the inner white part called the rib, which is where most of the heat comes from. So if you wanna increase the spice level, you can definitely leave some of that in. Then dice them up and set aside. You definitely wanna shred your own cheese for this. Block cheese melts and tastes better. Pre-shredded cheese will take longer to melt and by then your sandwich will probably be burnt. Now combine the butter and garlic powder. Make sure the butter is room temperature so it's easy to mix. And add a little of the shredded cheese in there as well. We're gonna put this on the outside of the bread for a nice buttery crisp. I mean, the bread alone is gonna have so much flavor. For the cream cheese mixture, combine room temperature cream cheese with onion and garlic powder. Give that a stir and then mix in the jalapenos. I'm using sourdough bread. You can use whatever bread you prefer. I cut nice thick slices. You can definitely cut them thinner if you like. Now butter both slices just on one side. We're gonna construct our sandwich in the pan. So place your frying pan to low medium heat and let it get hot. Before placing the first slice of bread, buttered side down, spread the guava jam on the other side. You can also use bacon or guava jalapeno jam for some extra spice or none if you prefer. Now place the bacon, then the cream cheese mixture. Make sure you spread it evenly. Then add the cheese. I also spread a little guava jam on the other slice of bread before placing it on top, buttered side up, and kind of smush the sandwich together and cover so the cheese can melt and everything comes together. Let it cook on that side about four to five minutes. Make sure you turn the stove down to low heat so the bread doesn't burn. Now the cooking time will vary depending on the thickness of your bread and how much cheese and jalapeno mixture you use. When the bread gets a golden brown crust, it's ready to turn. Oh my goodness, that looks so good already. Now cover and let it cook for another four to five minutes. This was one of the best grilled cheese sandwiches I've ever had. And I'm sure you'll love it too. It's the perfect combination of spicy, sweet, and salty. Be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you like this recipe and share with anyone who loves a good grilled cheese sandwich. Thank you so much for watching.